All right, today we're going to take another look at Dr. Stifler's SEC Exciter with uh, the S-gate lighting up fluorescent bulbs. And this is what uh, I worked on yesterday before I did the popcorn ball, was get the S-gate so it would light up the fluorescent tubes, including the big tube. So anyway, um, I made something here to show the radiant, or not radiant, the um, transmitted energy through the air. And this picks up the energy and illuminates these LEDs right here. The aluminum foil acts like a ground plane for this. And uh, I have something else that I want to share. This is a little um, plasma ball. I actually have it running off of a cell phone charger unit. It's a 5 volt uh, plasma ball. And uh, everybody's seen these things, fun to play with. And this little thing I made here um, illuminates along with the uh, CFLs are the fluorescent bulbs using it and this gives me hope that maybe we're not hurting ourselves with these circuits and that uh, the same energy that's making this thing light up is probably what the SEC exciter hopefully is doing it's not hurting anything so you see that light up or not camera's not averaging this very well let me try a bulb here. This is one of the uh, fluorescent bulbs. You can probably see that start to, to glow a bit. Yeah, I should have waited till it got a little darker, but anyway, this, uh, this is doing the same thing in a, in a way that the SEC Exciter is doing. And it helps me start the bulbs, so I'll be showing that in a second. But let me turn this on. I've got it at... Um, 50 to 100 milliamps it's down now so that it's drawing even less I've still got it running at 14 volts and this little um, ammeter here shows the amperage that it's, it's drawing and I'm using an earth ground on the gate and this is a extension cord that I'm using it goes out and around and out the door into a stake in the ground three feet this is not connected to the wall in any way it's a, just an extension cord that I'm using for the earth ground. Let me turn this on. Okay, there's the amp draw currently. It looks like about 55, 60 milliamps. And um, let's see if you can see that. The um, bulbs here are illuminated. You can see them. And the circuit's hot. It's hot everywhere hot all over the place. It's about the perimeter of this table that this is projecting the energy all around the edge of the table and that's about it. From beyond there uh, you don't get any transmission of this energy so it's it's about a two or three foot radius that we're projecting this energy at least on my system. So that's that's what's going on there. Um, the uh, other thing I wanted to share here was, um, first off, let me show you the gate's hot here. I'll show you with the neon here. See that neon light off? So that the gate is hot. It's got hot voltage to it right now. It doesn't, doesn't shock you or anything. I don't feel any sensation whatsoever. It's not high voltage. It's uh, 300 volts or something like that, but there's no amperage to it hardly at all. It's, it's, it's not like my Tesla coil. In fact, this thing is stone cold too, which is kind of interesting. Another thing I wanted to share was um, uh, Slayer was saying that a, a um, LED will light up off of the battery terminals, and it does. When this is hooked up to an earth ground, you can get an LED to light up off of the battery terminals. Let's see if you can see that or not. It lights up off either one. It lights up either way, too. So what's going on here is this thing is electrified with alternating current, evidently. I had the same thing happen when I was working on the um, Aromas project back when, Emotip project. So anyway, let me show you how this lights up. And I'm going to do it first with this one here because this one's hard to light. I'm going to lay it right down there. You see nothing's happening. I can get it to light. I can put it in here in, in the end of the gate and it'll light right up. 
and that's real cool. It's running. But I wanted to show you another thing I discovered. It'll go off if I lay it over here out of the out of the field. It goes off. Now I'm going to turn the plasma ball on here. Watch this, and let the plasma ball light it up. I thought that was pretty cool, and uh, very interesting uh, phenomena there. But anyway, that's now running. Uh, looks like about 60, 75 milliamps. I'll go ahead and light up these other ones. You can light them up by sticking them in the end of the tube here. Just light them up and lay them down. I'll light up the big one here too. Okay, that guy's on. It's hard to see that it's on, but it's on. Anyway, this is kind of what I wanted to show is the the energy is still going all over here with this running. You set the battery, it's on all the wires, everything is hot. And there's my amp draw. It's about 60, 70 milliamps. And everything's running. Very, very interesting phenomena. If I put the LED on this, this kills it. This little uh, LED trick. Watch this. This will just knock it right out. Just turned it right off. Everything just went off right now. Everything's off. I'll start it up again. I'll start it with the plasma ball this time. Put the plasma ball down here. This will start up. There goes everything. Start right back up again. All the bulbs using the plasma ball. So that was that was a neat find. This little five uh, five volt plasma ball. It wasn't very expensive. Recommend you get one of those. A lot of fun to play with. Anyway, that's my uh, replication of the uh, Stifler um, SEC exciter using this gate, and uh, it works. Just wired up the way he says to wire it up, and it works just nicely. And I do uh, do recommend you make one of these things here, and this just proves the uh, wireless transmission of the energy. And it's it's a couple of feet out, and it it goes all the way around in a radius around this uh, exciter. And I don't think it's dangerous at all. I think it's just something that uh, probably an annoyance for your television. It does turn the television on. Let's see if I can show you that. And that's what the television looks like. And that the what was going on here was the TV in our house was left on and the cable box down there gets turned on and off. So the television was hot, but that's what it does to the television. Not too neat, huh? I'll turn it on to a channel. You'll see what it looks like when I turn on a channel. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, knocked it out completely. So anyway, that, that is something that would have to be addressed. Oh, there's a channel right there. You see what it does to reception. And uh, this is what? This is maybe uh, six feet away. So it would bug your neighbors, and you'd have to shield this. But you can shield it with a Faraday cage pretty easily. It wouldn't be a problem. So anyway, that's the latest for today. The uh, Stifler SEC Exciter with the S-Gate.